September we met. I could tell by your smile. You hadn't been with a good girl. Point number eight. Point number eight yeah, you is teamwork. Couldn't leave me alone. Text me. Hi guys. Hello. Welcome back to our channel. And yeah, today we'll be talking about money. <laughs> yeah. Um, thank you so much guys for your support. Thank you for the subscribers. If you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? Why don't you just do it right now? <laughs> uh, please uh, continue to comment and we just really love hearing from you guys. So yeah, so I think we should just get right into it. Um, we want to talk about our finance journey and where it all started, you know. So I'm just going to be like throwing in some questions here so that I can just keep the conversation going. Uh, so question number one is when did we actually start talking about finances, our own finances, not just in general. So we started, uh, you know, I could say it was like a few, few weeks after we, 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 it can't be a few weeks. Can't be a few weeks. Yeah, I'm trying to think actually. When More like months. I'm, yeah, I'm thinking because yeah, we started talking about money when like, hmm, oh, late 2016. So which was what like few months after? We yeah, started? a few. I think it was a few months. Do you remember what sparked the conversation about like at that time? What were we talking about exactly? Like, I'm just trying to remember our first conversation because I don't think. It was like, okay, today we're talking yeah. about money. It was So that that's why I'm also just trying to figure out what exactly we were talking about back then. Yo, yeah, no, I don't honestly been, I don't remember but it's been, it's been it a should while. be around late twenty sixteen. That's So basically it. while we we're still dating. Yeah. Um like I mentioned in another video that um when we started getting jobs while we're still together, like when while we were together, we were now open about the packages. So that alone made it easy. Mm. When you share how much you're gonna be earning, and I'm share I'm sharing how much I'm gonna be earning from there on, like it was yeah. really just easy to start talking about money. Exactly. So yeah, and and I see um a lot of couples as well that I've spoken to. It seems like they've spoken a lot about money while they're still dating. So yeah, yeah, people I, I, mustn't I, I, wait till I, I, marriage. Yeah, I think I think thing about money, even if you can check people who research about divorces and the likes. Money is always up it's there, the so it's, it's infidelity. Then the second one is money. Money is always up there. Mm. It's always one of the reasons people get divorced and the like. So money is very important to talk about, mm -hmm. and it's a good topic to talk about when you're all happy. Don't talk about it when you're already fighting about it. When you're all happy, start, yeah, start talking about it. Start that conversation. It's very personal. When coming to money, money is very personal. I think I was, it's actually leading to my second question to say yeah. how was the 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 reaction. Yeah, for, for, for you know the initial reaction, especially when we were now working. Yes, initially we started talking about money and finance and how much yeah. you're earning and and and. But then the the issue kind of started when we started doing budgeting. Yeah. So, so. What was the issue? I'll tell you what I think the issue was. What was you issue, the issue according to you? Oh, so you say you'll tell me, but <laughs> no, I'm I'm gonna mention as well. I, I get oh, the questions are not yours. Okay, yeah, it's yeah, ours. Okay. <laughs> so for 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 me for me when coming to to the whole money issue. I felt like I didn't want to be told what to do with my money. Did you feel like I was telling you what to do with your money? No, the thing about it, just discussing my money, I felt like I, don't, I didn't feel comfortable talking about my money. Like, I'm still going to keep on saying my money because mm. we got married. That was my money. Mm. I felt like as much as we sat down, discussed how much I'll be earning and everything, I felt like now my salary was under microscope. <laughs> now, like, we, hey. if, if a cent is missing or maybe if I run short or I overspend or something, I felt like I needed to answer questions. So I was a bit yeah, uncomfortable. Really yeah, it took me a while for me to really adjust there. It's just the good thing is that I wasn't really open about not being uncom uh, uncomfortable about it. I was just, mm. just letting, letting it slide. But looking. getting angry in the meantime. You yeah, and, 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 I and also, and also, and also just if I wanna go so get something, I just decide to go buy something. I'm like, it's my money either way. I'll just come back later and answer. But that, that's the true reality. I, I sometimes I just felt like I just wanted to go. I remember, yeah. I remember when I got my Xbox, uh, she was like, I can't go get it down, get paid, got it. <laughs> and it's so expensive. 
expensive. Yeah, that's the thing. So the thing before, I'm like, I'm gonna get it. Then I went and got it. So I explained later. I'm like, no, sorry for not telling you, but that's what and I did. And you know what? It wasn't even because. Um, I was trying to control the money. Mm. For me, I felt like we had plans mm. and accountability. Like, if you know you need to do this, why are you going to buy an Xbox? So it wasn't even about the Xbox itself. You could have just decided you want to buy me something I really like or buy me clothes. I still would have had the same reaction or maybe not. I'm not sure. But <laughs> the issue was we had plans. Yeah. With your salary, with my salary. So now when you divert, now who's going to cover the pathway you are gonna shut no, for no, no. I, th I think you 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 are talking to when we are approaching getting no money. when you bought the, the when you bought the, the xbox and i was giving an example with the xbox but the thing about the way you are saying <laughs> when you planned about it so remember before we, we even spoke about getting married and the like we it was just a matter of you advising how my, we're doing your budget and doing my budget together yeah but that's the thing about it so now when you say well, your money is gonna do that but you're making it like we had like a common goal like we have this Louis account or Russell's account that you need to pay no but <laughs> it's for Russell so initially it wasn't a good it wasn't a good happy mm. conversation like like you said it felt like I was controlling me now I was my mouth trying to bring some stability in this thing do the budget do budget every and it was not like we were doing his budget only we were doing my budget at that time. Which I had less to say about. Ah, baby, I had no, I didn't really have control. But anyway, now who's better with finances currently? Oh, that that you need to break it down is to better better with finances. Who's better with making financial decisions? I'm better. Ah! Yeah, I'm better. Like you look, yeah, you're good. You're good with the budgeting and putting on this like. But I'm, I'm the one who's better in following those regulations. You make your budget, but still tomorrow you will find room for it. You wanna adjust things, start moving things around. So I'm better when coming to finance. You stick into the finance. Exactly, I'm better. To the budget. Mm. All right. Um. So okay, kind of who and when did we decide on the method that we were gonna use? in marriage because i remember we had this co it was a very intentional conversation that we had mm. where we sat down and we wrote different types of methods that people yes. use in marriage for the finances, finances and we're like cancelling out mm. so but now who ended up deciding on the one and when was this conversation yeah the, this 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 was also all still also before we got married but this was sparked more after, we, I think, during the phase of our premarital counseling. Yeah. So when they were advising that you need to talk about this, so when you we went through that process, they were just explaining some of the things that you need to be looked at for and some of the conversations that you need to have now, yeah. preparing us uh, to the marriage. So, and so, so what happened is, I think we were just bouncing out ideas and yeah. we decided that the method that will work for us is the one that we're you, using now. Yeah, the one that we're we'll, using. We'll get to it just now. Yeah, we'll get to it, but that, that, that's how we decided. So we did it during, just before we got married, during premarital. Yeah. Um, which, yeah. Which is very important. I think the method that you're going to use should be something that you discuss. Yeah. Yeah. So I think it mustn't just be like so one up Yeah, no, we this, we this must sit down and yeah. agree who this is where we are going and this is what we'll be doing. Yeah. You know, and another thing, I actually wrote this down as well. I wanted to mention this for transparency and honesty. Yes, right. Yeah. Is, is 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 very important. Yeah. Even throughout the dating stage, you know, especially once you've decided that this person is somebody you wanna be with for the rest of mm -hmm. your life. You, I think you need to start being open. Like, yeah, why I, I, must you be sinking in debt without their knowledge? Like, yeah, I, I think one thing about about personally, from from a guy's perspective, how mm -hmm. I was feeling, when to, in terms of transparency, I, I feel like we 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 have this sense of when I feel like we're in control. Mm -hmm. So someone coming and telling me how to spend my money, someone coming to tell me why do you do one two three? I feel like it's just a matter of I feel like I'm losing my. Mm, my Men. my manhood if I could put it like that to say now you need to come and tell me what more when you get married so that is always in the back of my head to say yeah. maybe I need to spree and enjoy this money now before yeah. we can get married in I, secret exactly so one up and yeah but and, and then the, the truth of the matter I learned it at the hard way also because I that that's 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 how I was mm. but but after realizing that on the budget the budget nobody's forcing you to make 
uh, to buy X or Y Z. Mm. In the budget, if you feel like you have this habit that you need to fit, mm -hmm. be transparent and say this money I X. <laughs> I want it to be part of the budget. And the mo the moment you decide that, yeah, I, she doesn't have the right to come and say, "What did you do with that money?" Yeah. You told her that this money I need it for one, two, three. Yeah, that's true. And already when you budget, you budget around that. You say, okay, this money is gonna go out. He's gonna uh, buy his family one, two, three. He's gonna do yeah. but whatever that habit is, be clear about it so that it can be easier to manage your budget. Yeah. Don't have that money amount to say when is amount x when this amount x runs out where are you gonna get money to replace it that means he's, he, that 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 whatever kitchen that is mm -hmm. it's done so yeah yeah no, I, I totally like that but in practicality i think for example like you're saying if he wants to give his family money hmm. he mustn't just do things out of secrecy really yeah. because looks so short that we are gonna mind yeah. you know so rather tell me I want to do this, we include it in the budget right then and there. Exactly, yeah. Even if it's a lot, if it's a lot and we can afford it, then good. Yeah. Right? But if I would decide I wanna go do some expensive hairdo, I wanna buy a nice weave and stuff, instead of like doing it on the side and answer later, tell and then we can yeah, work we'll out plan, the plan, budget. We'll plan for it. Yeah. yeah. And also like I was saying, the web transparency, it, it also helps people who are in debt or who have debt to also speak up yeah, exactly. to say these are the type of debts i have i have a clothing account the true with i have one in edgar's i have a credit card i have a phone i have a hey, list it all everybody must know what they're getting themselves into mm. not after marriage now how you have a forty thousand worth of credit card hey no, we have yeah. to pay this credit card or that, that a clothing account that has been there since 1920 you know yeah. and that just doesn't end so it transparency is key like yeah, it's, it's I, I very think, i think it's, it's, key. Very, it's very intentional for people to talk about yeah about, about money yeah i'm just i'm just yeah, yeah. you're but, putting a stamp on it yeah exactly. <laughs> and yeah and also also understand that you will probably disagree um on a couple of things that even before you get married and even after you get married it doesn't necessarily mean for you will fight but you disagree and not yeah. every woman is like me who wanted to know where every cent is going like i think yeah. now i'm like chilled yeah because maybe you proved yourself or i don't know yeah like and, i'm so and, chilled about and, it and one thing about money what, what i can maybe say so well, think about money in a relationship there are some people who are lucky they're both good with money yeah. but in most cases one is better than the other and regardless of gender or whatever yeah. whoever that is good with money encourage that person let it be the person like that takes them. the lead then you support it whatever that they say because the thing about it her taking the lead doesn't necessarily mean she make the decision for the house it's just that she's good with money she knows and then how to I put a money Excel. together and everything. Yeah. exactly so and when coming to that i can't be now struggling at the formula j excel well there's someone who's good with it yeah. i'm just gonna give her the role of running with it and obviously we discuss the budget then she brings us together in a nice colorful yeah. graphs and template then we are good to go so yeah. the sooner you realize who's better i like it's, it's not about is just the better of uh, uh, understanding this person is better this they are they are food. strong point strong yeah. point then you you run with it i told it like that i actually yeah. even wrote that down for myself <laughs> <laughs> to say whoever is better and it doesn't only work with money i think with everything else yeah. if there's somebody who's better let them shine exactly like you're saying me being better with budgeting doesn't necessarily mean for i'm the one that's calling the shot i'm mm. not calling the shots mm. you know if even if i want us to go in this direction if you disagree trust me with that beautiful budget it will go a different way exactly. based on our discussion you know yeah. so don't be shy men don't be shy women don't be shy it's okay if yeah. you're a spouse if both of you are not good with money then both of can help i don't yeah, know and even if you're both good with money i mean mm -hmm. like it's just a matter of communicating i feel like it's mm -hmm. always easier to have someone running with it then we know that she's the person that person. exactly she brings everything together rather than if you both we are good with money then we are both having our different shine. spreadsheets <laughs> and whatever I, I honestly feel it's better that way that mm -hmm. if there's something that maybe i felt like one year to do, go okay let's check the budget then she opens then we start talking okay i'm planning we want to do until that then we start forecasting then making yeah. sure that okay this is we can only achieve it after this so cause mm. think about it we scared of credit yeah exactly Yo, <laughs> so we want to pay things for, cash for, you know for, Forecasting is, 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 is what we do most of the times when we're discussing money. Most of the times, it's forecasting. Yeah, forecasting people. Yes. <laughs> I get it. I heard from you. <laughs> I can't even do it. Yeah, like I, I don't focus it now. We are focusing. <laughs> yes, we focus that way. <laughs> anyway, so now coming to our method of um handling finances. Mm -hmm. 
um let me just explain this one in our family we have one budget i was about to say two accounts no we have many accounts but he still has his account that he had before we got married where he gets his salary i also have my own account but those two accounts are visible let's start there they are we i can see what's happening in his account you can see what's happening in my account so when it comes to the budget that i do one income this is how much you earn this is how much you earn that alone becomes what we both earn Five thousand. Here's the money of the family. Then we list all those expenses. Get a tithe, get a bond, the car. Long story, long story, long story. And then at the end of the day, is um, what we actually divide in half. Half. Then he gets his allowance. I get my allowance. You it know. Is, it don't don't say at the end of the day. So allowance is part of uh, the expenses there. Yeah, it is part. But okay. our allowance at the same time are also based. On like how much we get at the end of the month is also based on our budget. Oh yes. Yeah, yes. so we don't just put ourselves first to say, "Woo, we'll give each other this and yeah, that." No. Next thing, something is no. Oh, we yeah. do everything first. Mm. Whatever is left, then. But it has. It's also part of the budget, like he says. Yeah. And also, um, so we don't really necessarily have like duties on who's doing what. It's a matter of whose account is being debited with what exactly you yeah. understand so obviously we know when we say this is how much we're paying for the bond yes in our budget it's one thing right but we know who is definitely coming out from one specific account is not we're not splitting it mm. you know when it comes to debits you know so that's basically how we do it just one budget sometimes you might find that at the end of the month my allowance is, is, is actually in his cart yeah. based on however whatever I was paying yeah. you know so it doesn't necessarily mean what allowance would definitely be in my account at the end of the day and his allowance and his could be even in mine you know yeah. this month grocery could be in his account next month it could be in my in my account yeah just just in just to, just to add on that what, what, what she's saying about having one budget mm -hmm. there, there's one account that that she knows that i have I know that she has, but I don't have access to that. that, oh, yeah. that that's like a, a personal account. And having that personal mm. account is where if you that's want... That's where the allowance goes to. Yeah, if you want to stay or whatever, that, that, that's my private chunk. Whatever I do with it, mm -hmm. doesn't affect it anyway. That She knows that I have a stash somewhere. Because most of the time, people will think, but if I want to do something, maybe I want to surprise, surprise her. Then. If I want to <laughs> want to do something mm -hmm. for my family without actually her coming and giving her two cents or whatever. As long as we allocated the money. Exactly. Hey, so, where is it going, Kanchan? So don't worry about it. You have your own little stash there. That's an account. It, she knows that I have that account, but she doesn't have a pin for it. That, yes, that's and the also don't, yeah. I don't even have a pin for, mm -hmm. for her account, so that 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 that, that also mm -hmm. something that you need to put out there because most people will think, Oh, but do I need to put out something? No, every little no, thing, you, 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 every little you have thing. a stash, and the thing about it, I have stash, but she has a pin to where the salary comes <laughs> in, so yeah, I can't lie and say I'm stashing quickly before she sees, she's gonna be like. You know, <laughs> and, and, and we are not contradicting ourselves when we were talking about transparency in this because yeah. like you're saying, as much as we are very open with the finances, mm. we are still individuals who still, yeah. you know, want to still do our individual things. Yeah. Like he's explaining, if he wants to surprise me and he does he buy something from, I don't know, from Edgar's. <laughs> then you'll see. Uh, obviously, I have access to his account. <laughs> I will see who and, and I will ask. Yeah. What did you buy? Yeah. So, but now if he takes his whole allowance that is his alone and puts it in a different account, which I don't have access to, mm -hmm. at least I don't get to ask questions whether he's, he, hey, I don't, I don't care what he does. Yeah. Yeah, like he doesn't <laughs> care what I do with mine, yeah. but it's only the allowance part, but, yeah. not just. So he cannot support another family without me, you know, unless he's supporting a family with his allowance. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we yeah, don't know. If, if that family is okay with the support of my All right. So anyway, that's what um, we do. Um, so like I also mentioned that, you know, we uh, cancelled other methods, mm -hmm. which I actually decided to speak to some married couples to hear mm -hmm. what they are doing. Mm -hmm. um, so if you feel sorry, this is not gonna work for you. I, I want budget. I can't work. You know. We are, we are explaining what works for us. Yeah. yeah. So there's also other options mm -hmm. that I also wanted to share with. Um, let me just read that. Wanted to share with our viewers um, that I got. Um, there's also an option of shared duties yeah. where usually 
you know you you pay for the bond you pay for the car i make sure there's food hey if there's no food you don't even yeah, I mean, you don't really pay school fees. You do, you that, know that yeah. type of thing. So you could also go that route of splitting um duties. Where I yeah. thing is because we don't doing it, I don't have much knowledge. Maybe after lockdown, we'll get to have a video with people, and then the one that you know that that they that does this, and then you can explain build, build more. Build their, uh, but yeah, also, yeah. Thing. So I just wanted to put that out that there is also that option of splitting duties. You do this, and I do that. Mm -hmm. And there's also another option where one person is working and the other one is not working because in our case it's both of us are working both of us have a salary but what happens when one person doesn't have a salary and uh, sorry can, yeah. can can i add on <laughs> for me personally if you in that situation whereby one is working mm. i feel like our method will still work because it's the common is the, like yeah. is a common budget to say this is the money is coming in this, then, is the, this is just the income yeah this, exactly for me yeah. this method will work because if we are using shared duties if i'm not working then what yeah but i'm just saying i'm just yeah. advocating my um, for my <laughs> method i'm not I, there's nothing wrong with that just like you, like you just you just need to make sure that you you look at how the situation that it yeah. is in your in your household yeah yeah so i spoke to one person where um she's not working and the husband is working mm -hmm. and she says what they're doing is um at the end of the month since the husband is the one that's working mm -hmm. he they basically send money to the specific account for fixed stuff in the house mm -hmm. and then let's just say they are left with a thousand rand a thousand rand is basically what they both have access to when if i could put it that we like this is when they she can also go buy something for herself mm -hmm. go he can also buy but that fixed amount you can't touch it because it's the one that all the debits, take, yes, oh, yeah. you understand. So, so it's, it's more or less like our method is just a matter of now with them, they have like a common kitchen that they're gonna take from their allowance. Yeah. Oh, okay. Both of them, yeah. That makes sense, yeah. And then another, uh, another one is what if one doesn't have a salary, like in the sense of that one is an entrepreneur, mm -hmm. because then how then does it work? Because I mean, if I know I'm gonna get ten thousand rand, I don't know whether you're gonna get ten thousand or two thousand or zero. Uh, you know. So yeah. I spoke. To, sorry. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I spoke to one um, wife um, that explained that, and I just you know asked what could be the advice that they, and what do they do, and what she explained was that um, they also have duties, mm -hmm. right? But their their expenses are enough for the person with a salary so wh whether the person who yes, doesn't so. have a pay slip whether they bring money or not life will still go on the car will still be paid the house oh, will still be so, paid every so the entrepreneur is like an extra income yes you know they're taking that money to maybe pay off big debts and you know all this x and save mm. but the person with the salary or a pay slip mm. everything in the house basically fits just in case the other one doesn't, you mm. know, and also the advice on save, 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 mm. you know, because I was about to go to the last one of if both of you are entrepreneurs, then what do you do? And for me, obviously, we're not 100% entrepreneur. So, but I think save, save, save. But if you are that person who is in a relationship or are married um, and you are an entrepreneur and your person is an entrepreneur, please comment and tell us how is it that you um, do it. And yeah. Maybe mm. one day we'll do a video. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Alright. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. Yep. And, yeah, thank you. And uh, subscribe, please. Like, comment. Comment, comment with your methods. You want to hear about yeah, your methods. Yeah, I mean, advocate so nice. you for your methods. I mean, like, <laughs> okay. there, there are some, actually, methods that you don't know about. Yeah. And that would be something very interesting to find out how others are doing this whole budgeting thing. So, like they always say, there are too many ways to kill a cat. So, yeah. I mentioned that someone else read in the comments will mm -hmm. learn from from the experience that you are actually using yeah. or the method that you are using. All right, and definitely, and, and lastly guys, it's okay to change. If whatever method is, you're using is not Try working, something else. it's okay to change. <laughs> if it's working, then you don't need to change. But if it's not, it's okay to change. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much. Bye. Great guys. Bye. Cheers. <laughs>